Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I come to Lawrenceville about once a month. Patients are eligible for a free wig um, per year after they've been diagnosed with cancer. Um, as you know, it's quite distressing to lose hair during your cancer treatment. We're gonna go something totally different today, Miss Frankie. You know, I always like this mm -hmm. when I see them. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know what it'll look like on me. Well, we can try it today. You miss your hair. Um, it's something that a woman has to deal with every day and not to be able to comb my hair, not to be able to grow any hair and wear this machine. It, there are days when I do feel a little bad about that. I do have to shave my head twice or more a week in order for this machine to stay in place and to fit. When I came in, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, these beautiful wigs, Never wore a wig in my life, and they helped me choose what I like. I rang the chemo bell. Yay! <laughs> that's always exciting. So happy. I like to say when you look good, you feel good. That's what really um, makes them have a little bit of pep in their step. I'm the happy place of the hospital. I won't give you any bad news, only good news. I like when they walk out feeling pretty and feeling like themselves, just adding that piece of confidence back into their already strenuous journey. It's something that, um, lets you know that you're thought of in every angle of life, in every aspect. Somebody is thinking of you and they're really trying to make this the easiest in every way that they could possibly do it. Being able to meet them here in their own community, it's, it's really beneficial for them as well as for me. Knowing that Massey reaches beyond our Broad Street corridor is very rewarding work.